going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and wow, what an announcement from Sir Rare. Rivals has officially launched and I am absolutely buzzing. I think this is a game changer. Now, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I was a bit negative towards Rivals when it first was launched. But I believe this is a game changer for Sir Rare. And I'll explain my reasons why towards the end of the video. Now, during this video, I'll explain how to play Rivals. If you're brand new to Sir Rare or Rivals, I'll kind of give you, you know, the bit of a head start on other managers on the Rival strategy. As always, guys, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. But without further ado, as you can probably tell, I'm absolutely buzzing. Let's jump in to the video. So this is the Sorare lobby page, and as you can see, Rivals jump straight out in front of us. It's a head-to-head -head game mode with friends or with managers on Sorare in the arena. So let's jump straight into the Rivals, and again, during this video, I'll talk through how it works. So as you can see right there, we've got the Barcelona Osasuna game. That starts today at 7 p.m. UK time. And we can set a five-man team lineup for, for that game. So basically, you have five players to pick from, much like Sorare Pro. A goalkeeper, defender, midfielder, forward, and one extra as well. And that extra can be a defender, midfielder, or a forward card. Now, as you can see, you have points, much like the amateur mode in the Sorare Pro. You'll have points to play with. On the um, rivals, you'll have 250 points, as you can see here. Now... How that kind of works out for the players is their Al 15 scores. So just taking Stegen for example here, his last 15 average game score is 53 points. So that how that works out is the matrix. Again, I'll leave a link matrix down in the description below as well. This is the same for Sorare Pro, and that kind of calculates the last 15 score. And if I did click to Stegen here, you'll notice that I'll you know, lose those points um, in the points remaining at the bottom left at the same time there as well. Now, another thing to kind of notice here as well is a different kind of colour cards. Now, I own the rare Barcelona collection here. So, again, going back to Sorare Pro, I own to Stegen Rare. I paid money for that card, and that will give me a bonus on rival. So, again, if you're brand new to Sorare, um, you can head to the market and buy a limited version, which is a bit cheaper, the rare version, which is red, and also the blue super rare versions again i've done a video on what is so rare which is in the description below at the same time as well the common cards which are these cards right here um, if you're going to be brand new to rare these cards you'll have again there's no bonus on these but you can definitely still win other you know, other managers on so rare you just need to pick the right players um, in the right game so for this example obviously i know to stay is injured so i won't be using him on this example again i own kunde and balde for this uh, for this Barcelona team, so I might go ahead and include both them if I can do again, depending on the cap. Um, midfield again, this is just kind of a quick rundown here. I've seen that Firmin has been playing well, and um, maybe Gunnigan might go over the cap. Let's go for um, Firmin, maybe you can change this up to the kickoff at the same time as well. We'll go for a full kind of Barcelona stack in Ferran Torres. That gives us 76 points left. So maybe we could even go ahead and put Gundogan in midfield there at the same time. So that gives us 15 points remaining. And that's a five-man team, a five-man team with two rare kind of upgrades while at the same time. Hit continue and you select a captain. So your captain gets a 20% extra bonus as well. So this is vital when it comes to Sarare. Now for this one, I'm going to captain Kunde just because with that rare bonus, and he's a very consistent scorer anyway on the game. I'm going to captain Koundé for this example. Now, when you come to your tactic, you get you know, five different options there. So just kind of a rundown on these ones. You've got Tiki Taka, which is obviously passing. Um, so you can see here that you get 10 points for over 130 passes, um, over 170, 20 points. And if a team total gets over 220, you get the plus 40 points at the same time. As you can see, Got the accurate passes there, the team average, about 151 accurate passes on average. You've also got one contest as well, so no headers, tackles, for example, and that sort of stuff. And as you can see there as well, I'm going to talk through all this. Um, again, a few different contests on there. You've got all that attack, which obviously just means shots at goal. And as you can see, one shot per goal on average for that team. We've got two defenders. I don't think I'll be going for that one. We've also got the part of the buzz as well, so you no know, clearances. So if you maybe want to go Osasuna tonight against Barcelona, that might be a great tactic to use. 
And you've also got Geng and Preston as well, which is duels won. So that could be tackles, headers, for example. And even when players are dribbling as well, um, they do count as duels won at the same time. Again, I do apologise for my camera is flickering. I do need to sort that out. But because I'm Barcelona, they're known for passing. Um, I'm going to go for the tiki tacker for this tactic on this occasion. And, and, and then there you go, guys. I am in. I've got my players. I can invite my friends over on Sorare by hitting the invite button on there. You actually see your followers, what they've done, requests at the same time as well. And, and that's how you kind of get stuck in to rivals. Once you are on Sorare, you can follow other managers like myself and challenge other managers at the same time as well. And as you can see, these managers here all have lineup set. And you can also see requests as well. So these managers want to play me in this competition at the same time as well. Now, once you've played one kind of friendly match with your friend or another straight manager like myself, you can go into the arena, you get a ticket unlocking for this. So once you win a friendly match, you un unlock the arena. Now, with the arena, you can go on to win rewards, which I'll come on to in just a moment in time. On the Rivals match, it's quite important sometimes to watch the game and especially at the same time to look out for the lineup. So just for example, on this one, for the Barcelona game, I can edit this lineup now until kickoff. So I can make as many changes as I want until it's 7 o'clock. So it's vital, you know, and now before kickoff, you check the lineup to make sure your five players are playing. That's, that's kind of tip number one. Make sure now before the game, you at least check your lineups. The second tip, if you can watch the game, that'd be ideal. You can make subs during the rivals at the same time as well. So just for example, I'm just going to take, I don't know, Koundé. Let's say he gets injured on a bit of a poor score. I can see you know, he's got injured the game or I can see him coming off. Or he's just got a poor score. And I can see, you know, Cancelo or Christensen, where it might be, I can see him warming up and potentially coming on. Now, if you are quick enough if, or you predict a sub late on the game, you can sub off. Kunde, for example, and bring on Cancelo or Christensen, just for, for example. And they lose the points for Kunde, um, and again, Christensen will come on that play. So maybe, you know, half time or someone's got a very poor score, and you know they're always going to sub in a certain place, maybe more attacking players. You can use that to your advantage at the same time as well. So that's why watching games live might be a massive advantage um, for rivals at the same time. So going back to rank, so again, once you've won that friendly match with your friend, or another Australian manager, you unlock the arena. Now, with the arena, again, we talked about, a bit about this before, right? building lineups, choosing your tactics, etc. Again, I'll leave a link in the description below of this video. You unlock the arena. Now, once you've beaten a friend's mention for the first time, you get to rank in the arena. So basically, the more and more you play rivals, the more you win, the higher you get in your ranks um, at the same time as well. So in the arena, you play for reputation, score, streaks, and mystery reward boxes. So again, Raw boxes can contain cards and tickets at the same time as well. So win in the arena and you win, reputation points lose. And obviously you lose reputation points at the same time as well. All managers start at 100 points at the same time as well. As you can see from this image here, you can win rewards including signed jerseys. So rare cards, so as you saw my rare, rare, rare cards a moment ago, you can win potential limited cards and VIP tickets as well to football games. So Free to play potentially, you can do this free completely free and win signed jerseys, cards, and VIP match tickets. It says here complete streaks. So, and the more you win, if you go on certain streaks, you win mystery boxes. And each box will have a chance to win amazing prizes, such as you no know, mentioned just moments ago player signed football jerseys, so rare pro cards, match tickets, and much, much more at the same time as well. As I mentioned a few times, I'll leave a link to this medium post. Um, down below at the same time as well. Now, a lot of you might be new here thinking, Jack, what the hell are Sorare Pro Cost? I'm brand new to Sorare. What the hell are you on about? Coming back to the lobby here, we talked about rivals a moment ago. We've also got the pro section as well. So the pro section is where all managers play at the moment in time that play Sorare. So we have cards you go and buy for the market. Different scarcities on here. So Messi, for example. Again, I've done a video on what is Sorare. But Sorare Pro is basically competing against the game and other managers in a bit more of like a leaderboard format. So just for example, all star limited, um, you know, entries at the moment for this. Give it to me at the moment. But price pool goes down to two thousand five hundred to win a tier five limited card, for example. Um, and the entries at the moment is eight thousand six hundred eighty nine. So, um, competing against everyone basically on Sorare. Uh, but with rivals, it's again it's a bit of a free to play mode at the same time. 
but you can also you know, have a head-to-head -head with your friend or Sorare manager. So that's a bit of a difference. Now, the idea and why I think this is a game-changer for Sorare, in my opinion, is because the free-to-play free players can come on to Sorare, play rivals, you know, maybe you know, win a few games, get a mystery box and win a limited card. And that limited card could be, it could be a tier three card, for example, but that could kickstart their career into Sorare Pro, um, in my opinion, and that can kind of gauge them straight from the rivals to pro. Now, when I first discovered rivals, a bit I played before, I wasn't the biggest fan. I'm not going to sit here and lie about that, but this has changed my mind completely, and I think Sorare have done absolutely brilliant with this. You know, again, VIP tickets, etc. It's got me very excited. You can probably tell on this video, guys. I'm absolutely buzzing. I need to get back onto the rivals. I'm going to set me out to snap the Barcelona game and make sure I'm tr I mean, trying to watch that game if I can. Uh, I'm sure the girlfriend won't be too happy with me moving forward um, at the same time. But I'm absolutely buzzing, guys. Let me know your thoughts as well in the comment section below. That is it from me for this video, guys. Just a quick rundown on to Rare Rivals and just kind of show my excitement, basically, for the new game mode. If you have any questions regarding the new mode or Sorare in general, again, leave a question down below or DM me on Twitter. I'm always happy to help. As always, if you enjoyed the video, drop it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you are new around here. Enjoy Rivals. Get challenging me, guys. Jack.p is my Sorare manager name. Get challenging me. Um, and hopefully, you know, we can win some jerseys, VIP tickets, or just some Sorare Pro cards in the future. 